Okay, today I want to show you how to add an event in a calendar on Mac. Okay, and the first thing that we want to do on the left-hand side is go ahead and click Calendars. And then over here, you're going to notice I have three different groups or four different groups actually going on, but I'm going to start a new one for this example. So I'll go up here to File, New Calendar, and let me name this one Test. Okay, so now we got tests. Now over here on the top, we have day, week, month, and year. So usually I like to work with the month. And then if you come over to the right hand side, you'll see two different arrows. So basically if you click on these arrows, it'll change the different months you wanna to go to. And then if you ever wanna go back to your current day, all you have to hit is today's button. So let me just find a date here and we'll go on June. And what I want to do is double click on a date. So I'll click on June 21st. You're going to notice that it defaults to the first name on the list up here. If you have multiple names up here, it'll always default to that one. So if that happens to you, I always like to do is go over here, click on this, and I'll go down to test. And then right here for the new event, I'll type in photo session and then location, I'll put in Denver, and it'll actually suggest like actual names will pop up, so I'll just put Denver, Colorado. You can even click on for a map if you wanted to, to give you the exact location. Now for the date here, we have the date, but I wanna do a time. So let me click on the time here, and you do have an option of just clicking all day if it's gonna take you all day, but if you think it's only gonna take you a couple hours, I'll come over here, I can click on the hour here, and once it's highlighted, I can change it. So I'll say 9 a.m. So I can change that to a.m. or p.m. And it'll go till, say, three hours and to 12 p.m. And then right here, you can do a repeat if it's multiple, uh, if you want to add in your travel time. And alert is the one I like to use a lot. So I'll click on that. You do have an option of 5, 10, 15, 30 minutes before or even a couple hours before, but sometimes I like to do one day before. And if this one doesn't show up, what you gotta do is hit custom, and then you can change this number to one. And then all you gotta do is hit this drop down. You should see day before, and you can just click that, and then hit okay. You do have the option to add invitees, and you do also can add notes um, if there's a particular customer or something I like, I can always add the detailed information in the notes section. And then once I'm done, I could just click on the calendar here and it'll show up here. And what's really cool about this too is if the date or time changes, um, you could just click and drag on to a different date. So say it's going to happen on the 27th. That works real good. And if it just happens to get canceled, I could just right click and hit delete. And then also just to show you real quick, if you want to delete any of these group names, all you gotta do is click once, right click, delete. And it'll ask you double check it for delete. Really good calendar to use, and plus I do link it with my phone, so I do get all my notifications. It works really nice. So anyways, I hope this helped you out. If it did, uh, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and share this video with anybody you think you can help them out. Have a good one.